Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. The angle between two rays is equal to 60 degrees. We will now construct three circles. The first circle is tangent to the two rays. The second circle is also tangent to the two rays and it's tangent to the first circle. The third circle is tangent to the two rays and tangent to the second circle. If the radius of the first circle is equal to one, what is the radius of the third circle equal to? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Recall, if two circles are tangent, their centers and the tangent point are collinear. To see why this is true, suppose we have circles A and B that are tangent at point T. Construct the tangent line through point T. Now AT is perpendicular to this tangent line, and BT is also perpendicular to this tangent line. Therefore, ATB is a straight line segment. This is true for both externally and internally tangent circles. Now, let's solve the problem. To make things a little bit easier to see, let's zoom in on these two smallest circles. In the first circle, construct one radius to one point of tangency. This circle has a radius that's equal to one. Now, construct another radius to the other point of tangency. Then, connect the vertex of the rays to the center of the small circle. We have now constructed two congruent right angle triangles. This means the center line bisects the angle between the rays, meaning each of these angles is equal to 30 degrees. From the second circle, construct a radius to one point of tangency. Suppose this radius is equal to x. Now, connect the two centers of these two circles. The distance between them will be equal to 1 plus x. Let's now just focus on these right triangles. Here, we have a right angle triangle where one angle is equal to 30 degrees. Therefore, we have a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. The shorter leg is equal to 1, and therefore its hypotenuse will be equal to twice that length, or it's equal to 2. We now have another 30, 60, 90 right triangle. This is a similar triangle. So we know that the hypotenuse, which is equal to x plus 3, must be twice the length of the shorter leg. So this is equal to 2 times x. We can then use this equation to solve for x. We'll subtract x from both sides, and we thus get that x is equal to 3. So we've solved that the second circle has a radius that's equal to 3. We can now use this result to solve the problem. Notice that the second circle's radius is exactly 3 times that of the smaller circle's radius, so it scales by 3. Therefore, we have a scale factor of 3. So we'll now go back to all three circles. We'll zoom out. So the first circle has a radius that's equal to 1. The second circle will have a radius that's 3 times that, which is equal to 3. Therefore, by proportionality, the third circle will have a radius that's 3 times the length of the second circle's radius, so it will be equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. Thus, the radius of the third circle is equal to 9. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.